Hold up. What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here, welcome back to another Clash of Clans gameplay and today I have a Clan Wars recap so you guys watch my Clan Wars live uh, raids and now this is the Clan Wars recap. So the first one is by Loco Steve, aka Steven Main, very good attacker, I'm actually going to be using his strategy probably in Clan Wars or something like that. He's going in with the Quadra Lava Lunian, 4 Lava Hounds I believe he had one in his clan castle which is pretty typical for a Quad Lava Lunian. He's just rushing in his balloons, rage spells, and that he did have a couple of free spells as well. Now, I think single Inferno Tower would be good too because if you think about it, it takes a while till it destroys a hound, and by the time the hound, I mean the Inferno Towers destroy three, four hounds, I'm pretty sure the balloons will probably make it to the Inferno Tower and kill it. Or if they don't make it, it'll be pretty close, clearing up the most defenses near the town hall. And this is his attack strategy. Most clan wars is he's gonna go in level Lunian, just gonna take care of the base now. The skeletons do trap him. I mean, I guess I could say hold him off for like a couple of seconds, but they're gonna destroy the town hall in a second. Now, for a second, I thought they were gonna actually gonna go on the outside, which would have been really bad. And we really did need stars this war because this clan war was actually fairly not easy for us as we had very sloppy attacks, sloppy attacks by our clan members. But anyway, this looks like a 3-star now. If that uh, Archer Queen would have distracted them, that would have been pretty dang bad. Anyway, the second attack is by King Aiden. And looks like... Actually, this is not an attack. This is a defense by King Aiden. And this is a pretty good defense now. He's got different war bases. But I think this is an anti 3-star Town Hall 9 base. At least for the most part, it looks really, really good. So this attacker is actually putting in a couple Hog Riders on each of the sides. And I think he was just checking for giant bombs. Unfortunately, he's going to drop a free spell in just a second. And he did not take care of that air defense, which I think he was going for. I think he was going to go for both of the air defenses. But I'm not sure why he did not take the clan castle troops out. Does trigger a bomb, I think, or something. Or a mortar hit the archers, I think. Yeah, and he, he is attacking. Uh, I mean, he's, I guess, pulling out tr troops very slowly from the clan castle. And the balloons can't do anything to the dragons. So... All right, looks like he's gonna send hog riders near the top of the base, and this is was extremely close. Now look at his army; he's got four wizards, two dragons, a hog rider, clan castle troops, wizard—I mean not wizard—king, uh, queen, a freeze, and a rage. And you're that close to the town hall, guys. I mean, come on, that's enough troops just to get and kill the town hall that close away. I mean, think about it. But anyway, max—I think yeah, that's max dragons, and they—I uh, think that was their third or second town hall ten trying to attack us. And this was towards the end of the war where they actually needed to get stars because it was a very, very close battle. And they did not touch my base, but this was our second player, King Aiden21. Look at this. I would have honestly saved that ability, but the queen is going to be so close to getting the town hall, unfortunately. Falls short. Only if he would have saved the royal cloak, the player definitely would have been a one star for sure. But, you know, there was no iron cloak, so that was a pretty good raid by... I mean, pretty good defense by King and pretty bad raid by War Not So Hard. I actually did attack him and one-starred him. I was very close of getting a two-star on him. Very, very close, but I didn't. The next attack is by LRW. Now, he has Go Wipe, and he's practicing with Go Wipe, Go Wipe attack strategy. Now, what I would suggest is spreading out the golems. At least when I do Go Wipe attacks, I'm actually going to start doing air attacks. At least practice them um, because air attacks are pretty good and usually pretty easy to uh, two-star other Town Hall 10s. You know, with the Quad Lava Lunia, all you have to do is pretty much clear up defenses for uh, the Queen and the Heroes, pretty much, and you get the Town Hall and get it, call it a two-star. So a two-star on Town Hall 10s is pretty good. But this is actually towards the close to end of the war, kind of towards the middle. Um, we actually did need it to stars this Clan War as well, because this was going to be a close Clan War, and I really hope he was going to three-star. From this point, it didn't look like he was going to three-star, because the he just dropped two rage spells on that. Uh, I mean, one rage, one heal. He's going to drop his last spell right there, which is actually a pretty good placement. But from this point on, I was like, I hope this is a three-star. He's got a lot of Pekka's alive still. He's Gollum still alive, I believe, hanging in there. But it's going to die pretty shortly. And from this point, I knew it was going to be a three-star. And very good raid by LRW. He's probably going to attack other Town Hall 8s. Now, in our... 
at the moment clan where we're actually facing a Denmark clan I believe that's where their name and it's another clan where that has like I think their clan has 28 wins and it's gonna be probably another close clan where hopefully we can keep our streak alive and that giant bomb is about to explode but to finish up this clan war recap just my second account I always put my second account in for clan wars I take care of the lightning I mean of that air defense by three lightning spells and almost an air sweeper almost now I was a proud gamers with my second account and I really do like that clan but keeping my town hall 7 account here does help out balance the clan wars but don't worry I will go to different family clans and just check it out and see what's happening in each clan I haven't been to proud gamers in a very long time actually because my second account is usually in there but it's not so anyway I'm going in with dragons and now that level 4 or 5 air defense really didn't cause any uh, really big damage on me it kind of did actually because if I had level 1 dragons there was no possibility way I would 3 star this guy and I come very very close of failing on this player's base and we needed every star so the dragon is going to die and that um, I guess fire breathe would have been important because to kill that air defense but at, at the last dragon attack he actually the dragon took care of the air defense now the level 6 wizard actually did a ton of damage to my level 2 dragons and looks like there's two dragons still alive right there and a couple on the other side of the base now I was deciding where should I p put my king and put my um, CC troops and inside my CC troops I had some max I don't know if yeah I think I had max wizards by Hider, I think he donated. So very thank you. Without those wizards, you guys will see I will I would have failed. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And this was a pretty clutch three star. And you guys will see the score of our clan war in just a second. But hopefully the audio wasn't so so bad cutting off, guys. Uh, I'm still trying to fix it. I've been searching online and everything. So please hang in there, guys. But if we could smash 60 likes for this video. That would be awesome. That will make my day. And hopefully you guys do enjoy these clan war recaps. I really enjoy making them. And hopefully you guys enjoy watching them. But anyway, as always, I'll see you all on my next video.